Uh, we're doing better than we were this morning. This morning wasn't awful. We've certainly have had quite a bit worse, but it wasn't it wasn't pleasant either. Let's be honest. Look out over a cloudy city still, and there was a little bit of snow this morning to make those roadways slick, and then of course dealing with some freezing rain as well. So you may need to be careful about areas that could potentially be icy out there. We're looking at David Sprout in Bourbon A at 33 degrees right now. We've got Cheryl and Mike in Rensselaer at 34, Eldon Schomburg at 32, and Rich and Gurney coming in at about 30 degrees. We've got visibility right now, which is at one for Joliet, DeKalb, Waukegan, and Ottawa, and two mile visibility uh, most everywhere else. So, so slightly reduced visibility out there today. A lot of cloud cover, just kind of a general fine mist still in play, and that could definitely create a bit of a slick uh, situation on roadways. We've got a little bit of light rain west of Aurora. I've got a little touch of some freezing rain on the north side of Cook County, and then uh, there is still the possibility for some additional precipitation, though not particularly hefty. If we zip in a little tighter, you'll see that little bit of freezing rain, maybe a touch of sleet, hard to tell. It's probably mixed just right around Evanston, stretching back towards O'Hare. So along 90, you may indeed find uh, still some precipitation coming down. Snow is a little bit heftier and consistent up across the line into Wisconsin, but now Illinois and Indiana getting a little bit of a break, at least from the intensity of activity. There's still some rain showers down along the Ohio River in Indiana. We've got a winter weather advisory in effect through noon, though, now at this point, so just about another 40 minutes at that point. I think the weather lightens up, gets significantly better. We do still have a good breeze out there, though. We've got winds gusting into the mid 20s for Laporte, Kankakee, Aurora, and Waukegan, and all the way up into the 30 mile per hour range uh, around Valparaiso. At two o'clock, you may still have some light scattered activity, but from that point forward, it's pretty much over. You're going to find just some cloud cover, temperatures beginning to drop off overnight. Additional precipitation coming in at just one or two tenths of an inch from this point forward. So we did have snow, freezing rain and rain this morning and we may still see just a little bit. Temperatures are going to slowly rise this week and then we are going to be getting back up to around average as we roll into, um, you know, the next few days. So we're at average today and then looks like we're going to stay there or even be a little bit above it going through the weekend into next week. So the weekend a little dicey with rain, but in the 40s. <laughs> are you not happy with my forecast? No, we're not. <laughs> At least we knew we were, were in black for in mourning for the forecast. That's true. <laughs> Thanks, Megan.